Hi everybody, welcome back to South Coast Yachts in San Diego, California. I'm Barrett Canfield and I'm here to show you a boat I'm really excited about because I want it. It's the new Beneteau Oceanus 30.1. 30 feet of cruising sailboat, performance cruising sailboat. Um, just a really sexy, beautiful, well-built boat that I think would be perfect for me. So you're going you're gonna to feel my enthusiasm as we uh, walk through the boat and talk about it, uh, talk about her features, her options, and then also we'll take it for a sail. We'll do a little drone footage today, so really psyched to go sailing. We've got a nice breeze here in San Diego, so come on aboard, check her out. One of the first things you notice as you're going down the side of the boat is the hard chine. And a chine is basically a rigid area, a rigid line in the side of the boat that, that uh, the boat will heel to and sit on. You can see we have a forward chine in this boat, which, which allows a lot of interior space and also more buoyancy up forward. And then a nice hard chine in the, in the stern here and dual rudders. So basically, when this boat heels over, it, it sits on that chine and the rudder digs in and is perpendicular to the surface of the water so it really tracks well and what it means to you is when you're sailing is a, a typical single uh, rudder boat you uh, you have a lot of uh, rudder uh, weather helm excuse me so as you as the breeze picks up she starts to get a little tough and she starts to want to round up where on this boat with the dual rudders and digging in deep onto that chine she tracks beautifully very little weather helm at all and we'll see that today so you can see some of the other features of the boat um, as you, as you get aboard. This is the dual steering wheel version. So that's an option on the Oceanus 30.1. You can also get it with a single tiller. Uh, but the dual wheels are really cool. It, it really opens up the cockpit. You can see how easy it is to walk aboard and get, and get down below very quickly or walk forward and adjust some lines. And then also walk from side to side if, if you're a windward or a leeward steerer. We'll show you that today as we're out there because I like it uh, on both sides. I like sitting on the leeward side sometimes just to see below the jib and see if anything's coming at me and also kind of be down by the, by the rushing water or for visibility up on the windward side and seeing forward perfectly. You'll also notice this canvas. Um, this is custom canvas that we did here in San Diego and it's, it's done by Memo's Custom Canvas here. Um, we do it custom for the owner. Um, this gentleman wanted a, a nice big dodger with clear mackerel on, so not um, wrinkly uh, uh, plastic, but a really nice solid looking dodger moving forward. And also structurally, you can see the size of the, of the tubing we use, the stainless tubing. So great visibility forward, great protection in weather, a, um, a section that unzips and pulls off the dodger and the, um, the top of the bimini, and then a nice big wide bimini with uh, windows f uh, right, ab right above your helm so you can just look up, you can look at your rig and see how your sails are trimmed and, and uh, get a, then of course get sun protection. So really nice solid uh, structure here. So to point out a little bit about the helm station here and, and the cool features that it has, you can see it's got the Yanmar controls right here. So really easy push button, start and stop the motor with a nice throttle right there. And this one's got the Yanmar 15 horsepower, three cylinder, very simple, nice and quiet, pushes the boat along beautifully. Um, dual helms, one has, a, has a, a brake on it, so you can lock it off if you, if you want. And this boat also has the uh, optional autopilot from the factory. This, she, we ordered this one with the, uh, the B&G package, which is the coastal and the offshore package from, from the factory. So you can see our chart there. We're sitting here at Sun Road Resort Marina in San Diego and ready to go out for a sail. And then we have the, the B&G wind instrument atop. So she's got chart plotter. We asked, actually added B&G radar to, the, to it. Uh, you'll see it on the rig as we go. And it's got a radar overlay on that um, seven inch screen there. So everything's right there at the helm. Easy to see, look, just look down. Great in sunlight or at, at night. Um, and just a nice, big, comfortable cockpit uh, to, to sail around with your friends. Um, the other thing that I, uh, I really noticed about the boat is the size of the boat. For a 30-foot boat, she's actually 31 feet, 3 inches overall. But for a 31-foot boat, she's got a very big cockpit. It's the biggest cockpit in her class, really, and, and, and bigger than some of her competition that are 34 and 35 feet long. So uh, one of the biggest differences uh, for this size boat is she's really not a small boat. She feels like a small boat when you're handling her, which is great, so she's not intimidating. But down below, big berths, and I'll even lie down in for you at six feet uh, tall, if that uh, is what you want. <laughs> and um, the seating down below, the, the livability for, for a 30-foot boat is, is just remarkable. I mean, I really, I, when we first got this boat, I thought this is the perfect boat to grab and put over in the Bahamas for, for an escape vacation or, or sail around Southern California or you know just bay sailing day sailing or overnights to Catalina like us here in California. Um, she is rated at a CE rating of, of class B offshore 
for six people. So that's, that's a, lot of, uh, a lot of weather that she can handle. We brought this boat in with a deep keel. So um, this, this deep keel is six feet and the uh, shallow draft keel is just four three. So if you're doing the Bahamas or something like that, you might want that, that shoal draft keel. But there are uh, three different uh, uh, keel configurations, two different rig configurations. There's a retractable mast configuration if you live inside a bridge uh, somewhere where you have to drop the mast. So like a tabernacle system. Um, very smart uh, boat that, that is, a, is applicable to a lot of different types of cruising and racing. It, it, uh, this boat, uh, kind of cool, great for us, we love it. Um, Sail Magazine and Cruising World Magazine gave this boat Boat of the Year for 2020 as Best Performance Cruiser. So she's a performance cruiser. We all like to perform. We always look at that knot meter and say, give me that extra half a knot uh, and make sure she's trimmed properly. And you know, the old joke is uh, the, the, the story of a regatta is two sailboats on the same body of water. You're always looking at the, how that other person is trimming and you want to go fast. So this boat will do it. And we're going to prove that today. So um, in the cockpit, uh, this is the, uh, the fiberglass cockpit table. It's got two leaves that lift up, on, one on each side. So you have a nice room for probably four people to have, um, have a lunch there or, or, or dinner, if you feel like it, under candlelight. On the starboard side of the boat, it's got a tremendous lazarette here. You can see how big this thing, this whole lazarette opens up. And in here right now, we have the optional uh, Code Zero, a uh, bunch of my gear, a uh, bunch of extra fenders, all that kind of stuff. But uh, a lot of room to put a roll-up inflatable dinghy, uh, lots of cruising equipment. So Beneteau has really listened to us uh, over the last uh, 10 years and added more and more storage for us. That's all because we want to bring stuff. We have kids, they have toys, we have, we have cool stuff, water sports, and we want to, we want to put them aboard. You can see the factory uh, Coast Guard placards there. This is the handle for the uh, manual bilge pump that's in the cockpit here. Fire extinguisher that we install, and then we mentioned before South Coast Yachts. Uh, just labeled battery charger. We label everything in the boat so you don't even have to think about uh, what, what's behind that little box right there. There's your battery charger. There's a little uh, step right there also with some grip tape on it and a nice little light right here that you can uh, turn on and get down in there at, uh, at night if you need to. So uh, this boat was ordered with the upwind downwind pack which is the uh, the bow sprit, the um, the Genoa, we also ordered this boat with the in-mass furling, which is not standard. So this one has in-mass furling main. It comes with a really cool uh, classic uh, square top main from the factory with the self-tacking jib. So um, this one's got a little bit more sail area up forward for running downwind. We also, got, as I said earlier, have the, the Code Zero. All the, all the maneuverability and lines lead back to these two cabin top winches with the upwind downwind pack, which is really cool. So you have halyards, jib halyard, main halyard, an extra stopper. You have your main in, which is your main furling line. We'll play with that in a little bit. Your boom vang, your main sheet, and then your main out, which is your out haul. And then the code zero, which is your, your code zero um, halyard right there. So everything's right here to these nice self-tailing winches. Quick grab of a winch handle right there. So easy access to maneuvering the boat. You can see how, how, the way we would design this, uh, this dodger. This whole piece comes off so we can look right up the rig and also just look up this way. So really nicely, nicely designed by our friend Memo. So ease of handling. Um, another really cool thing I want to show you that I, that, I, that I just get a kick out of is how this uh, companionway door works. It's got a little uh, door down here. And check this out. You're always wondering where to put your com companionway slides. You don't want to ding up your wood. And, and uh, it's a big companionway uh, door. So this slides off in the top, just like that. And slides in there and closes off and locks. So you just open it up, lay it down, fits right in there, and it's out of the way. Pretty cool. Locked in there nice and securely. And you open that little door and you can come on down below and take a look at the inside. Come on down. This is the light oak interior, so you can see lots of natural light, lots of, of sleek ports, not only light for the inside, but they look really cool on the outside hull ports that are nice and long so you can see the water rushing by. And then very big settees on each side of the salon here with another large cockpit table. I'm in the galley right now and you can, right here you have the fridge. So it's a nice big fridge with a little removable tray right there. Isn't that cool? And then all, then all sorts of storage on the side here. So storage there, two burner propane stove, a little uh, access into your aft stateroom. Um, and also your battery switches, a nice, a nice hanging locker right there for, 
for your clothing and stuff like that. And then more storage here is there's drawers. There's uh, a little, uh, I can step around here, Eddie, if you want to get in there. Sorry, that's not the best. But there you go. But you have a nice little L-shaped galley with drawers and a nice, a nice little waste basket here. Isn't that cool? Propane shut off and, and looking forward. So as I said, I'm the, kind of the, the human measuring stick at, at six feet tall. Nice place to lay, I think probably six, probably six three here or so. But a nice place to lay on the leeward side as you're underway on a long voyage. On, on, on either side, on the um, starboard side of the boat, you have the optional um, uh, nav table here. So this nav table is kind of cool. It folds away so you can have the same amount of room for, for livability or sleeping there if you do want to sleep out, out here in the salon. You can see your, your nav station here. Part of the offshore and coastal electronics package is the B&G VHF, the Fusion Stereo. You can see you have a fuel gauge over there. Everybody's always wondering um, how much fuel. She does carry 34 gallons of fuel and 42 gallons of fresh water in the boat. And then moving forward, you have dual doors. So double opening doors there. So really big, uh, nice way to step in to this uh, V-berth here. You have a hanging locker on port and on starboard. And then we'll do, use the old measuring stick again. So lying down here, nice and comfortable. Nice big hatch right overhead here. So you can get some uh, fresh air blowing through here at night. Reading lights, light switches, LED lighting under all this. So, so really nicely um, lit up for reading. We also, you'll notice a couple of, of um, carbon monoxide detectors for the boat. We add those here at the dealership just to keep the customer safe and comfortable. And also these, um, these hatches have the uh, ocean air screens and um, covers there so you can close off all the light. Uh, every port inside the boat has an interior cover so you can close it all off, off for privacy and also keep the light out of the boat when the boat's stored. A lot of people like to, like to close it all off so the sun isn't uh, beating in on it. But a really comfortable interior. You know, I, I, I'm not dreaming of putting one in the Bahamas. I'll talk to my wife. See what she says. I think she'd like that. Very comfortable, easy to sail. What I like about this boat is light and airy, uh, easy to maneuver. It's a size that you can handle. It's not going to get, uh, um, you know, in the way when you're docking. It's a fairly easy boat to dock with the dual wheels and nice Yanmar uh, diesel. So an easy boat to maneuver, a very comfortable boat to live aboard for a, a week or so on, on vacation or a long weekend somewhere. It's clean. Um, just It just works for me. I love it. So one of the things you'll notice in the Oceanus 30.1 is the headroom. As I said earlier, it's a big boat for 30 feet, 31 feet overall. But I'm six feet tall, so walking down through the boat, you have about 6'2", 6'3", headroom right throughout the whole thing. So it's a very, you know, you're not bumping your head even going forward. Um, going aft, the head is on the starboard side of the boat. and this boat, we ordered with the electric quiet flush toilet. That's an option, option from the factory. You can get the manual flush. Uh, as standard, but a really roomy head, uh, you know, just always measure it by my size and then it, you know, it's a pretty comfortable uh, size head, toilets right here, electric quiet flush uh, buttons, you have a nice uh, mirror and sink looking forward, uh, a nice uh, camp piece of canvas that drops down to keep all of your toiletries and everything dry when you're taking a shower, and the shower of course just lifts up and goes on the wall there or manually uh, you can shower, pretty cool. And um, coming out of the head, uh, you have you can see the companionway steps these are also the optional wooden companionway steps or wood covered companionway steps that match the beautiful oak of the interior i like this option it, it adds a nice uh, bit of um, class to the boat and also you have a nice uh, grip some grip tape there to keep it uh, keep yourself safe when you're walking down through and there's your access to the yanmar nice clean brand new yanmar What's great about uh, these motors is easy access to your impeller. You have your belts behind that. It's covered. Um, alternator, uh, fuel filters right there. You have your uh, raw water intake filter, overflow for your um, coolant right there. And everything's nice and simple and right here and easy. The dipstick is right here, so just lift it up and check your oil. But uh, three-cylinder, 15 horsepower that will push this boat along just fine. Under the floorboard here, you can see that there, our team has labeled this. That's the head salt intake, so salt water head right there. 
and that's the intake with the uh, with the through hull. Nice clean bilge. We're just about getting ready to deliver this boat. We deliver it in three days, so the owner was kind enough to let us uh, get aboard, do the walkthrough, and take it for a sail. So best part of my job. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, let's get out there. We'll get away from the dock and go for a sail. Sound good? Okay, so we're going to fire her up and head out and do some sailing here in San Diego Bay off of Point Loma. Uh, some cool things to, to show you here. Of course, the Yanmar controls I, I pointed out earlier, very easy access right there. The uh, sw swim platform also just lifts up and then locks off. It's got dead bolts on each side here, so locks off to the side there. Great place to put the name of the boat, a little bit dirty, sorry about that, but great place to put the name and the hailing port right there, so we're going to keep those locked off. And then we're going to start the boat, throttle straight up and down, power on, and you see the uh, tachometer just pop up just a little bit and then hit start. There she is. And of course you can put the red button in if you want to just lift it up a little bit for, um, for charging. Quiet it down a little bit. Back to neutral, she's ready to go. So we're going to grab the lines and uh, go out for a sail. Sound good? Let's do it. What's good about this is it just shows how easy the boat is to handle. It's not a big boat, you know, so you can you can, you can grab it at the dock and, and maneuver it and stuff like that. I'm actually just going to hop on and push her out a little bit. All right, see ya. Okay, so we're gonna pull the main out here. A nice day on the bay in San Diego. I'm just gonna steer her into the wind. Look up at the wind deck so I'm kind of feel where it's all coming from. Just gonna lock the wheel off right here, slow her down a little bit, and then walk up. So we have the main out, which is the, which is the out haul right there, ready to go. So I'm gonna get some, a bunch of wraps on that winch. And then your main in is your main furling line, so we're gonna release that one. Winch handle's right here. You always want your main sheet to be a little loose and your boom vang to be a little loose because that boom needs to lift up to meet that uh, in-mass furling sail as it comes out. So I'm just going to leave a little tension on this and go ahead and crank it out. I mean, it's, it's uh, small enough that you can do it by hand, but of course I'm using the winch. Maybe I'll just do it by hand. What the heck? Of course, if it's a heavier day, heavier air, I'll use the winch, but there we are, locked off, ready to go. That's locked off. I'm just going to put my main sheet onto that winch because we'll be using that to trim the main and then lock the boom bang off and it's ready to go. Okay, we're just going to pull the Genoa out right now. And so your jib sheet or Genoa sheet is right there to that nice self-tailing winch. The furling line is ready to go. I got it here on the on the cockpit floor and just gonna ease it out. There we go. Beautiful. So this boat was just introduced in the fall of 2019 and they've sold 250 of them already. That's an incredible success for for a new model. Not surprised, Beneteau. It's a boat that a lot of people want but I can totally understand why it's been so successful. Easy to sail. I mean, in, in minutes you're outside kicking back. So just sticking that uh, lured rudder right down deep and on that chine, she just scoots. There we go. Woo so what's nice about these wheels is you can just, just walk back and forth easily if you want to sail on the windward side. It's got a nice chalk right here to put your foot on if you're heeled over hard. Or if you want to run down to the leeward side and see under that, uh, that jib, you can just run down here, sit down, and see right down the line. This is my favorite place to sit on the boat, is that leeward side. You feel the water rushing by you. You can see the sail trim beautifully. I can look up at the top of the rig and see the windex. Telltales are looking good. So gliding along here, just inside of Point Loma, San Diego behind me. Uh, one of the questions that a lot of people ask that I forget to uh, mention in the videos is the price, the price of the boat. So this uh, brand new 2021 
Oceanus 30.1 has a base price of $134,000 US. And then with freight commissioning and then adding options, your choice of options, there are a lot of options on the boat. This boat totally loaded was 197. But for 175 to 195, somewhere in there, um, you can get a really nice boat. Oh, we got dolphins off the bow. Oh, how cool. Here are the dolphins. 